If you guys want to get some amazing controller grips and accessories, then check out fatalgrips.com and use the code Kyle underscore Burke for 10% off. What's going on guys, Cowboy here and welcome to another Minecraft video. Now today I'm going to be talking about a 3DS edition of Minecraft. Now usually I don't talk about this edition of Minecraft just because I play PS4 myself, but you know, I've started to talk more about different editions now and basically if you play on the 3DS edition, I've got some good news and bad news for you. Now basically the good news is that a new update has just came out for the 3DS edition, which means you get access to all new features which I'll be talking about in this video, uh, but the bad news news is that basically this is going to be the last update for the 3DS edition which means you will no longer receive any more updates after this update and now that the update's out you'll no longer receive any more now obviously you'll still be able to play the game uh, but you will not be able to get any more new features or anything like that so say if an update came out on another edition of Minecraft and you was expecting it to come out on the 3DS edition that will no longer happen so yeah this is the last update which means if you play the 3ds edition and you still want to get access to the new features it's probably time to upgrade uh, to a different console it does get updated and stuff like that I know the PS4 edition still gets updated so uh, that's probably your best bet as of right now but I know some people can't afford that so you know it's a shame that this is the last update for the 3ds edition but you know it, it, it just happens so yeah, I'm going to talk more about this in today's video, so leave a like and subscribe, but let's get straight into it. So, new Nintendo 3DS update. Our final new Nintendo 3DS update is also one of our biggest. So, as I said, uh, this is going to be the last update for the 3DS edition, uh, but obviously they know that, so they've made this update the biggest possible update they can before they, you know, end updates altogether. So... This is one of the biggest 3DS edition updates, as well as the last one. Do you play Minecraft on Nintendo 3DS or Nintendo 2DS? We do too, we really should hang out more. Not tonight though, as you'll probably too be too busy heading to the 3DS eShop so you can download a massive new update. This is our final update for the Nintendo 3DS, as I've just mentioned, um, and also one of our largest. So as just mentioned, they have made this the largest update they possibly can, just because this is going to be the last update. So they want to make it the best they can, um, you know, to, to ensure that everyone gets access to all the features they've wanted to use in the 3DS edition of Minecraft before. Um, so there you go. Um, it's packed with mansions and maps, vindicators and vexes, bone blocks and bug fixes, concrete and um, concrete powder, llamas and love. No, just llamas, but we love llamas, so it's all good. Have a pleasant peek through this gallery of screenshots and then enjoy a long list of new features below. Now, I'm not going to show you the screenshots just yet because I've actually got more to talk about them. So, I'll add those uh, screenshots in a video in just a few minutes. Uh, but instead, though, I'm going to talk about the new features that have been added into the 3DS edition. So, new features. Updated code base in close parity with Minecraft 1.1.5, woodland mansions, explorer maps, iron and gold nugget smelting. Now, uh, I'm going to add the screenshots as I talk through these just to show what's been added and stuff like that. Uh, so, going back to when I mentioned woodland mansions, I can see on this screenshot right here, uh, you know, the Minecraft character is actually stood in a woodland mansion on the 3DS edition of Minecraft. So yeah, you have woodland mansions now, which is pretty cool in my opinion, as you can use it as like, you know, a base or something like that. Um, obviously, you'd have to get rid of all the monsters first, but yeah, you have woodland mansions in the 3DS edition of Minecraft now. Not only that, but if we take a closer look at the screenshot, you can actually see that they have now added explorer maps in the game. Uh, this means you can like look like more around the map and stuff like that. Pretty cool in my opinion, and um, it's just much better. So, yeah, iron and gold nugget smelting also. New blocks and items. Concrete, concrete powder, glazed terracotta, shulker box, frosted ice, totem of undying, iron and gold nuggets, magma block, bone block, nether warp block, red nether brick, uh, spawn eggs, llama, vindicator, evoker, and vex. So, yeah, as you can see, this is the biggest update yet. Um, they have added a load of blocks, a load of new features. Um, as you can tell by the uh, you know the new blocks and items I've just read out, these blocks have already been included in previous versions of the game on different consoles before. Um, but because 3DS Edition was a little bit behind on the updates and stuff, they've only just added blocks such as concrete powder uh, and such like that. Obviously, they've been in the uh, console edition for a while, so yeah, but they've only just came to the 3DS Edition and uh, 
yeah, as it is the last update, they've got to make sure it's in the game for everyone to enjoy. So, I don't actually have any, actually, they might be included in a few of the screenshots in a moment, but I don't think there's any actual separate screenshots as to what the blocks look like. You probably know anyway if you've seen my previous videos on the console edition blocks, um, but there you go. Um, new entities, llamas, vindicators, evokers, vexes, and cartographer villagers. So, obviously, you have cartographer villagers now, which is pretty cool in my opinion, and, uh, you know, a lot of people were talking about llamas in the community and stuff like that, even before they were on console, and it's still going on right now. Like, I see a lot of people talking about llamas, uh, but yeah, they have added llamas uh, for you 3DS edition players out there, uh, which I imagine a lot of you are happy about because, you know, like I said, a lot of people are talking about llamas in the community and when they're going to be added to Minecraft and stuff. Obviously, they've already been added now, so yeah, no more talking about when they're going to be added. You can just enjoy them in the game, which is pretty cool. World Generation, Underground Fossils, Natural Magma Block Generation in the Nether. So, as you may know, in the console editions, uh, the Magma Block Generation, uh, ge sorry, generates in the Nether um, and, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much what happens in 3DS edition now, uh, as well. So, and you have underground fossils as well, which if you wanted to do more mining and find some fossils, then you can do that if you wanted. Uh, new enchantments, Frostwalker, which means you can walk on ice, uh, which is pretty cool. Or, sorry, if you can walk on water, but the water turns into ice as you walk on it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, as I have used, uh, Frostwalker in the console edition before, so that's a pretty cool enchantment to have, and, uh, obviously mending as well. Well, and uh, that's pretty much everything that was included on the changelog for the 3DS edition of Minecraft. So now I'm going to talk through the screenshots and what's in them and stuff like that. So as you can see in this screenshot, Minecraft Steve is obviously holding a uh, map and, he, and you have an explorer map as well um, and stuff like that. Now obviously, you know, there's, there's no new features in this screenshot as far as I'm aware, except the Woodland Mansion and the explorer map and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, that spawn egg, I, I'm not sure if that's a new, like, Vindicator or Vex egg or whatever like that, but if it is, that's there as well. Um, I'm not really sure what spawn egg that, that is, actually. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure what egg, uh, sorry, what animal that egg spawns, so... But there you go. Uh, the next screenshot, obviously, is a uh, Minecraft character with a diamond sword fighting a monster in the Woodland Mansion on a red carpet. So, yeah, um, obviously, like I said, there's nothing new in these screenshots, as far as I'm aware, unless I've added, like, secrets to it. But... If you want to take a closer look into the screenshots, make sure you pause the video and check them just in case I've missed anything because, you know, uh, I'm going through this quite fast. As you can see, we have a new mob on this screenshot as well. Uh, it, it was still in the Woodland Mansion here and this, this Minecraft character is looking at the new monster, uh, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, basically, uh, as you can see in the last screenshot here, we're stood on the sand, uh, you know, in front of llamas. So, yeah, this is on the 3DS edition of Minecraft, you know, you're stood with llamas and stuff, so, yeah, that's pretty cool, uh, llamas are in the 3DS edition now, and, uh, I hope you do all enjoy them, because obviously, you know, like I said, a lot of people have been talking about them, so, yeah, hope you enjoy them, and I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all, that all that sums up the 3DS edition of Minecraft. Uh, if you do have any questions, be sure to let me know, um, I'm not an expert at this, so, you know, just, you know, some answers, you you have to understand I cannot answer because, you, well, some questions, sorry, I can't answer um, because I'm not an expert at this, but I will try my best uh, and let me know what you think to this as well. And if you're a 3DS edition player yourself, let me know what you think to this being the last update. Do you want more updates to come to the 3DS edition? And do you want the 3DS edition to stop being updated? And do you actually want to upgrade to a new console? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Kendall and I'll be sure to read your replies there. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Adios.